So let's create your first code for GUI. For this, let me create a new project and we'll say this new project, uh, we'll say Java application and we'll call this new, new, uh, is, as new project as Swing Demo. And okay, now this is, this is what you get by default. We'll go, close this and let's create our own code. So we'll say new. Uh, in this, we'll show some text. That's it. We'll take a GUI, and in that GUI, I will take a, a place where you can I show a detail like hello world. So this is what we need to do whenever you start with any new thing. So we have to print hello world. So we'll say uh, first GUI. So we have this package name called a swing demo, and let me remove all the extra code. I think reducing font will work here. So let's say options. This is how you have to uh, reduce the font. So we'll make it 18, probably. Yeah, 18 will be better. So once you've uh, done with the font settings, now let's uh, do some coding here. Now, in order to create a GUI, what you need? First, you need a class. And we'll say this class is. ABC. You can have any name as your class name. Now, when you say you want to show something or some type of uh, GUI on your screen, you require something called as frames. So, what you see, what you are able to see now, this is your NetBeans IDE, and this is a minimize, maximize, and this closing button. So, this basically is a frame outside. Now, in Swing, all your components are called as uh, they, they start with J. Now, J represents the component is made in Java, and that's why it is J something. So, uh, so we have a class, inbuilt class in, uh, in Java called as JFrame. Now, what is JFrame? JFrame is a frame which is made in Java and be it belongs to a package called as Swing Package. So, JFrame is a class. So, since we need to create a frame, so we have to say my class, which is ABC, it will extend frame. Now this package or this class JFrame belongs to our package called a swing. So we have two choices: either we can just type here, or we can import uh, with the help of clicks. So we'll say add import, and this is the package. So all your swing packages belongs to uh, Java dot Java X package. Now, now uh, we'll create a constructor here since I want whenever I create an object, it should initiate. So we'll create a constructor. In this constructor, let me, uh, that's it. We have to define a frame and then we'll have to say ABC. Let's get a main function here to call that constructor. We'll go step by step. The first task is to show something. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll create the object of ABC. We'll say ABC OBJ equal to new ABC. Simple. And that's it. Once you created the object, it will call this constructor. That means it will call this JFrame. So we should be able to see something. Let's run this code. If you run this file, you can see nothing. It, it is compiled and you, you got nothing. Since you are able to, you are, you are writing here JFrame, no one is calling JFrame. The problem is by default, your JFrame has a property. It says, I'm by default invisible. That means you have to make me visible. So I have to say obj dot. So to make it visible, we can use a method called as set visible. So set visible is a method and we can make it as true. Now, uh, in earlier version of Java, we used to say obj.show. So earlier we used to work with this method called as show, but now this method is deprecated. Now, if you, let me show you it, how it is deprecated. If you say obj.show, you can see a line here, and this line means deprecated. So we'll not use this show. Instead of show, we'll be using set visible true. If you want to hide it, you have to write set visible false. Since we want to show something, so we will say set visible and in bracket we have to pass true. If I run this code now, yeah, you can see something here. So about on top, top left, we can see some window here. But it's so small, right? It's We have to expand it manually. What if you want to set this size initially? So what we can do is we can use another method called as, so there's one more method called as set size. Now, set size will ask you for two parameters, the width in pixels and height in pixels. So your 0, 0, starts with the top left here, somewhere here. So this is 0, 0. Since we want frame to be somewhere here, we'll give it as 400 pixels. 
width and 400 pixels height. So it will be a square type frame, not exactly square type, but uh, you can see some sizes. So we'll say run this code and bingo. So you got a square shape frame here. Simple. So this is how you should run, run your application. Now, let me close this. By default, not, not close. Okay. So now we know how to set the size and we have, we know how to, how to make it visible and how to set the size. In fact, when you, uh, you can also write this code inside your constructor because ultimately we need to call those methods. That's it. Either by in constructor or you can explicitly call them. So it's always better to write your, uh, this, to write this methods inside a constructor. So we'll say set visible true and set size as 400 comma 400. Clear? Now we are still remaining with the text there, right? So to, to apply a text, you need some component. Now to show that text, we need a component called as, we'll say here, we need a component called as J label. To show something, we require a J label, we'll say J label L. Since we want to import the package, we'll say control space. Okay, you can see we have a J label package here. So J label class belongs to our package called a swing. So we'll say J label L equal to new J label. And whenever you create a J label, you need to provide a text. So we'll say this is hello world. Simple. So once you create a J label, next step is to add that label on the frame. It's something like creating a canvas or a poster. So you have a cardboard and you need to cut some pieces or some uh, articles and you will take those articles and you will stick on that canvas. In the same way, you need to create a frame and individually you need to create some labels or some objects and you will add those objects onto the frame. So we'll say it is add, we need to add L here. That's it. Once you say add L, now let's run this code and the output you're getting is hello world. So we have started with the code in which we are getting a GUI and it is it says hello world. Clear? In the next part, in the next tutorial, we'll talk about how to add two text. Uh, so thanks for watching and do subscribe for further videos.